Greetings and salutations. In this video, we're going to go ahead and download and install Miniconda 3 for macOS using Terminal. To begin, we're going to go to the top right corner and click on the spotlight to open Terminal by typing Terminal and then pressing Enter. And this should open up a terminal window. Once that's done, if you look at the bottom of this video's description, you'll see a few lines of code to copy and paste. Please copy using Command C and then paste them into the terminal window by using Command V and then press Enter. Once done, what will end up happening is Miniconda 3 will be downloaded and installed. In the case of my own setup, notice that I chose the portion that has x86-64, which means it's an Intel Mac. Inside of the video description, there's another link that will lead you to the ARM64 version of Miniconda that's going to be present for the M1 and M2 chips that were released after 2020. With this being said, we're going to go ahead and press Enter to continue. And we're going to press enter, 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 enter. Did you press enter? Okay. We have to continually press enter until we reach the end of the file, in which case what will end up happening at the end of the file is we'll be prompted for whether or not we accept the license terms. In this case, I'm going to say yes, and then I'm going to press enter. Next, I'm going to uh, say that we can install Miniconda 3, in this case in percent or, or tilde, sorry, forward slash opt forward slash Miniconda 3. And then I'm going to press enter. Once that's done, what will happen is uh, Miniconda will unpack or the installer for Miniconda will unpack all of the files and set them up in place. So this process may take a little bit of time. Once it's done, we want to make sure that we initialize Miniconda 3, which means that we add the required paths into our uh, bash profile and ZA. Uh, sh profiles. So type yes and then press enter. As a result, uh, it looks as if everything has now been set up. Uh, before we finish, let's make sure that we have everything up to date by typing conda space update space dash n space base space minus C space defaults space conda and press enter. This command is checking to make sure that everything that we just installed is as up to date as possible. As we can sort of see here, it looks as if there are a few updates. So we're going to press Y and then enter to allow these packages to be updated in the global environment. With that being said, we're going to open a new terminal window to verify the installation has been complete by using Command T. And once we uh, open this new window, we can now see the very familiar base uh, inside of parentheses that is associated with Conda being present. And if we type Conda and then enter, you can see that Conda was successfully installed as we are prompted with all of the help options. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye now.